Well, I think you saw the way they're going to call it. Uh, and the good thing is we knew it was going to happen, and our starters did a very good job of taking advantage of the, of the new way they're going to referee, as well as defensively not fouling. And then when we subbed a lot, we fouled much more. Obviously, we didn't make our free throws as much, but I, I think that will come with a lot of work. With the exception of the offensive player throwing his body into the defensive player, that's the way it should be called. Uh, I didn't have a, a complaint you know, about that because that's the way it's going to be called. Now, you may say, well, it's going to be a long game. No, it'll adjust. That's the exact way it happened in the NBA, the exact way. And then everybody adjusts to it, and you have freedom of movement. But they're not going to let you bump the guy, stop the progress, and you're going to get used to it. Obviously, we, we took great advantage of it offensively tonight. We were ready for that. The only thing I think that they got to make a big change on is when the guy just out of control throws his body into the defensive man, they, they can't. That's a verticality situation. They can't give him that call. But I think they'll adjust to that. Overall, I was very pleased. We're going to work on our free throws. We we're a much better free throw shooting team than than that. Um, just going to have to play David Levitch more if that's the case. <laughs> I think we were ready for the referees. I think we knew, we really drilled it home in the last three weeks how the games are going to be called because we, we were just watching all the scores throughout people scrimmaging and, and exhibitions and you know three-hour games. So we were ready for that. We didn't foul very much in the first half. Once we subbed, we fouled more. That's going to really help us offensively, and I think we're smart enough defensively. We have to get Mango and Steven Van Trees rebounding more like a Kenneth Fareed mentality. Um, and I think they can both do it. They're just not quick enough to do it right now, and they've got to, they've got to watch the ball and go after it. We need them to be big-time rebounders. If, if they become big-time rebounders, we're going to become a big-time team. How do you handle the, um, you said you were ready for the play with call. How do you handle it in practice? Maybe? We just call everything, everything. We really prepared for that. We just say foul. I said, don't get upset at me. I said, I'm telling you what it's going to be like because I, I experienced it in the NBA. It, it's going to happen. So don't, don't get upset. Move your feet. Are you really going to have, I know it's frustrating for me, you, the fans, you're really going to have a better game once everybody adjusts to it. You're going to have a much better game. You'll see much better offense. Do you think that'll take, I, mean, you I think it'll take a month. I think it'll take a month. I think you're going to see much more zone because of it. Um, and we worked very hard on our zone offense because of it. Yeah, I think I think like I said, I think we weren't ready for their offenses tonight because we had no scouting. We were ready for the the style that was going to be played tonight, and and we've got guards that, you know, they're not Peyton Siva yet, but but they can really really go one on one. Got to be happy with Rozier, nine rebounds, four assists, no turnovers. Yeah, he's a terrific freshman, terrific, and and I think you see Montrez Harrell, you know, he he. I don't know, he played probably 25 minutes, I would imagine. Um, 25 minutes, yep. And, um, you know, I think he, I think he's a stud. And um, no question about it, he's improved his game immensely. Low post game. Now, he, he really is not that bad a free throw shooter. He just had a bad night. But he's a hell of a basketball player. Are you seeing enough from your five spot that you feel comfortable that as the season goes along, that's going to improve? I, I think Stephen Van Trees has such little confidence in himself that he's not the player he should be. In other words, he, he should go out there. He has enough ability to grab 10 rebounds in 20 minutes. That's how good he is. He has enough to roll and dunk the ball. He's a very good jumper. But he, he's so conditioned to just be average instead of being good to great, that he just has mediocre games. And when he develops a different mentality and confidence in himself, he can be a ferocious rebounder, very good defensive player. He can do those things. You see a Terry Rogier, he does it. I mean, Steven played 17 minutes tonight with two rebounds. All he's got to do is just use his ability and play with great confidence. You know, he doesn't have to be a three-point shooter, but he's capable of getting 10 rebounds, 12 rebounds. I think it's um, what was that uh, that um, cartoon character I watched many many years ago called the Fantastic Four? What was that guy's name? Stretch. 
I, Mr. Fantastic, is that it? Thanks. Did you meet Adolph Rupp, by the way, the man in the brown suit? <laughs> That's what he's on. Uh, his wingspan is so incredible. If you, you know, he's got a 7475 wingspan. And that's he's amazing because he doesn't even look like he's jumping and he's above the rim. Going back to Ventures for a second, how do you get that dog in him like that? That's a $99,000 question. I tell him all the time. Stephen Play, you know, I show those guys more tape of Kenneth Fareed at the pro level, just how hard he plays now. And Montrez takes it to heart. Stephen just has got to develop inner confidence. He's, he just has to develop that. Coach, uh, any comments about Mango versus Gorgie at, at the same stage? I think they're similar. I think Gorgie is, has much better footwork at the same stage. Gorgie has much better passing skills at the same stage. Mango's a much better runner. Um, they're similar in terms of their body types, but Gorgie became, remember now, I, we're not replacing Gorgie to freshman, we're replacing Gorgie to junior, and there's no comparison of that. But he's, you know, if we can just get, Mango is Mango, he'll do his job. We've got to get Steven to be, to be as good as he should be. And I've got a lot of confidence in him, he's just got to develop in himself. I think, a lot, I think you saw it tonight. I think they were well prepared how, how to, they knew how it was going to be called tonight. And I think they're very good at it. Now, they're not as good as Peyton Siva. Sometimes they pick up their dribble and they wait for the screen rather than go off it. But I think that's a, just a little matter of fatigue. The good thing about um, Rogier is he doesn't fatigue. And that's what I like about him. I really like his game. Doesn't turn it over, goes to the basket, has the confidence of a senior. I may room him with Van Trees, maybe change roommates. Maybe that'll help. <laughs> He's always rebounded. You know, he, certain guards have a knack for that, and he's, he's got a great knack. He, he's a hell of a jumper. I mean, he really gets off the ground. Did you do anything better second half to, to first? Uh, I think you hit 15 of your first 17 shots in the second half, those first eight or nine guys. Yeah, I think, look, we were much better than this team in overmatching them, uh, and, and obviously we did a much better job of rebounding in the, in the second half. Um, we had an incredible number of deflections. I'll tell you what, one thing I was most pleased with the, the whole night. We did not foul, I think, one time pressing. I can't remember it. I don't think we fouled one time pressing. And that's unusual for a regular call game. Uh, we fouled in the half court. So that was good. You know, the guys did not press. They moved their feet. They trapped correctly. Anything else? Thank you.